Is there something going on at Campi Fligri at the super volcano that they're not telling us? All of a sudden, they're building an escape route from Pozzuoli to the Tangenziale di Napoli. We will talk about this after 40 years of refusing to do that. And we could have a pressure buildup right now that could lead to a phreatic eruption. And you might say, oh, come on. Well, if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you've seen the recent studies of the INGV that participated, by the way, that leading scientists are saying we could see a phreatic eruption at any time. And if that wasn't enough, they have found the Achilles heel of the volcano, an area that is way more brittle, that could let the magma get through. And they have compared it to the Monte Nuovo eruption that has created Monte Nuovo. It started with a phreatic eruption that basically was like a mining operation, blowing a tunnel for the magma to come. So there is a risk. Well, we're saying only a phreatic eruption, that's bad enough in an area with more than 6 million people and 500,000 people in the red zone, whatever you define the red zone. If you make the red zone smaller, it's 80,000 people in Pozzoli. But again, that phreatic eruption was followed by a magmatic eruption because, of course, the crust has already lost two-thirds of its stability since the 1980s. And the last study was even more dire, told us that pressure is building up. You should watch these videos. It would take too long to explain all that. I have a Campi Flegri playlist, guys. You have to check it out. This is a super volcano. I have also just recently released a video, what would happen to the world if a super volcano had a super volcanic eruption. So Campi Flegri here, it is at risk. So what is happening right now? Since the 19th, 20th, 21st of June, we're seeing earthquakes again. And we're seeing them right now. You see the list here. And the epicenters are not surprising. Also around Pozzoli, the Solfatara area, that is the crater where we see the Fumaolis. You see the picture here. It's densely populated. They're building on the crater around Campi Flegri. So now, they want to build this escape route. Let's start with that. Of course, we knew. And scientists have said, it's very dire. The escape plans, they're not working. All these old buildings, the narrow roads, the buildings will collapse from an earthquake magnitude 5 already. So it will be blocked. They came up last year with this new evacuation plan that there are certain routes where people can access the Tangenziale di Napoli, the only highway. I'm skeptical about that highway because it has a lot of bridges. And if that highway breaks somewhere because a bigger eruption could come with a bigger earthquake, then they're all doomed because the people of Naples will also have to use this, this Tangenziale di Napoli. So, okay, now they want to build a direct escape route that Pozzuoli can get out more quickly. Pozzuoli is the highest risk level if there is anything happening at Campi Flegri. So a new bypass junction in Pozzuoli that they have been discussing for 40 years. And all of a sudden, the politicians are moving their butts. That tells me something. So it's estimated that this work will last for 15 months. Cost is estimated at 10 million euros. They call this strategic infrastructure in the emergency planning of the Phlegrian area. By the way, they have also installed sensors at the excavation sites in Pompeii because they're worried that these earthquakes that are happening at Campi Flegri might bring these old ancient structures to collapse. Now they have installed the sensors to learn how does this affect Pompeii, that's near Vesuvio, is another monster. So Minister of Civil Protection Nello Musumeci has announced yesterday that they want to build this new evacuation route. And he said, quote, we are creating a strategic infrastructure in the emergency planning of the Campi Flegri area, an interchange that will connect the town of Pozzoli to the ring road Tangenziale di Napoli. So 
at least they're doing something. That's a good thing. We've also had the new bulletin released by the INGV. The ground uplift continues with 15 millimeters, 1.5 centimeters, a little more than an inch per month. So further tensions will build up whether they like it or not. We could see stronger earthquake swarms. Yesterday, there were five earthquakes above magnitude one, probably more in the micro seismic range. Today, four to five already, also 1.9. You know, that sounds small for the ones that don't follow this, but for a volcano, this is significant. And for Capiflegri, it's significant. And also the bulletin says, that in the week between June 9th and June 15th, there were 29 earthquakes. One thing that they have noticed, and they say that in the bulletin, is a significant decrease in the carbon dioxide emissions that was noticeable in the Pischiarelli area, where we normally have a lot of these emissions. The gas temperature was still the same, averaged like 95 degrees Celsius. So what is going on? They say they don't think that this has anything to say, that this is not decreasing. They think this is just a local phenomenon in the Pischiarelli area because they do not see a break in the long-term trend of pressurization of the system. So here comes the scary part. Is something clogged? Is something clogged in the system? Is it possible that the degassing system of Campi Flegri has been blocked? And if that is the case, this would accelerate the pressure and increase the risk of phreatic eruptions. So we will have to wait and see how this develops over the next few days. We definitely have an earthquake swarm going on right now. And we also have to wait and see how that develops. And guys, check out what's going on in Santorini, a 4.8 in the area where we had that massive long-lasting four-week earthquake swarm that was scaring everyone because now it's the middle of tourist season in Santorini. So that is scary because this was followed by a 2.7, 1.7. It's several earthquakes. And we know in February, Campi Flegri and Santorini were rattling together, both having these long-lasting massive earthquake swarms that were scaring everyone. So is this the case again? Hopefully not. Also check out something going on in Alberta, Canada, unfortunately, Banff National Park near Lake Louise and the famous ice fields. There was a rock slide, large rocks falling down, tourists running for their lives, search and rescue still ongoing. Unfortunately, this time it wasn't without any loss. So check out this video, guys. Uh, there's lots of stuff going on. If you're interested in rock slides, landslides, check out my playlist. Switzerland, Norway, Italy, Germany, Austria, Canada. Things are coming down. The mountains are crumbling and it's dangerous. The worst thing was blood and you've probably seen it. The whole village was buried within 40 seconds. So guys, I hope you're safe where you are. If you want to support the channel, it's greatly appreciated. You can buy me a coffee. I can answer with a 30 second video message and I will do that. So check out the link in the description, my buy me a coffee site. You become a monthly member for the channel. Click the join button. Thanks for you supers. Thanks for everyone who's supporting this channel. You guys are absolutely awesome. Bye bye.